What makes Earth so special? Why does our planet teem with life while its neighbors remain barren? The answer lies in a concept called the Goldilocks Zone, and today we're diving into this fascinating topic. Welcome to Out of This World and Beyond the Stars. The Goldilocks Zone, or the Habitable Zone, is the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. It's neither too hot nor too cold, just like Goldilocks porridge. Do you think all stars have a Goldilocks zone? Yes, most stars have a habitable zone, but its size and distance depend on the star's type and size. Smaller stars have closer zones, while larger stars have zones farther away. Why is liquid water so important for life as we know it? Liquid water is crucial because it acts as a solvent for chemical reactions necessary for life, supports temperature regulation, and provides a medium for transporting nutrients. What factors, besides temperature, might affect a planet's habitability? Other factors include the planet's atmosphere, magnetic field, distance from its star, and the presence of essential elements like carbon and nitrogen. Not all stars are created equal, a smaller, cooler star like a red dwarf has a Goldilocks zone much closer to it. A larger, hotter star like a blue giant pushes the zone farther out. What challenges might arise for planets in the habitable zone of a red dwarf star? Red dwarfs often emit strong solar flares which can strip away atmospheres and make it difficult for life to thrive. Could planets around blue giants sustain life, or do their short lifespans make it impossible? The short lifespans of blue giants likely prevent the development of life, as there isn't enough time for complex organisms to evolve. How does a star's stability impact the Goldilocks zone? A stable star provides consistent energy, essential for maintaining conditions suitable for life over long periods. Earth sits snugly in the sun's habitable zone. But did you know that being in the Goldilocks zone alone doesn't guarantee habitability? Many other factors come into play, like atmosphere, magnetic fields, and plate tectonics. What role does Earth's atmosphere play in maintaining liquid water? Earth's atmosphere traps heat through the greenhouse effect, maintaining temperatures that allow liquid water to exist. How does our magnetic field protect life on Earth? The magnetic field shields the planet from harmful solar radiation and solar winds, which could strip away the atmosphere. Would Earth still be habitable without plate tectonics? Plate tectonics recycle carbon through the atmosphere and regulate the climate, so without them, Earth might become too hot or cold. Beyond our solar system, astronomers have identified thousands of exoplanets, some of which lie in their star's habitable zone. These discoveries fuel our dreams of finding alien life. What tools do scientists use to detect exoplanets in the habitable zone? Scientists use telescopes like the Kepler Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, employing techniques like the transit method and radial velocity. How do we determine if an exoplanet's atmosphere can support life? By analyzing light spectra, scientists can identify atmospheric components like oxygen, water vapor, and methane, which are potential signs of life. Do you think we'll find life on an exoplanet within our lifetime? While the odds are uncertain, advances in technology and exploration increase our chances of discovering extraterrestrial life soon. The search for life in the universe is one of humanity's greatest quests. Upcoming missions, like the James Webb Space Telescope's successors, promise to uncover even more about habitable worlds. What technologies could help us explore distant Goldilocks zones? Innovative technologies include next-generation telescopes, space probes, and even concepts like light sails for interstellar travel. Should we focus more on improving life on Earth or finding habitable planets elsewhere? Both are important. Preserving Earth ensures our immediate survival, while exploring space secures humanity's long-term future. If we find a habitable exoplanet, what should our next steps be? Our next steps might include sending robotic probes, studying its atmosphere further, and debating ethical implications of colonization. The Goldilocks Zone is a reminder of how rare and precious life is. Whether we find it elsewhere or protect it here on Earth, the quest to understand our place in the cosmos is truly out of this world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cosmic adventures. Until next time, keep looking up. 
explore the universe with us.